hello youtube welcome back to my channel my name is tony victor follow me on instagram at tony victor 7 so in today's video i'm going to show you how to make your skin to look even in photoshop using gradient map so looking at this image you can see the skin tone of this image is not looking even some parts are a bit brighter so bad are a bit yellowish and some parts are a bit reddish and in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to make that look how to make the skin to look even using gradient map make sure your fog, make sure your uh, foreground color is on black and your background color is on white the default if it's not like this just click on this icon right here and it's going to switch to default make sure the foreground is on black and make sure the background is on white after that you come to adjustment layer right here and click on gradient map once you click on gradient map your image is going to turn to black and white and if your image is like this make sure you click on this reverse right here make sure you make sure you want check this reverse right here to, to make it look black and white if it's like this click on this invert to make it look like this okay moving on next i'm going to do i'm going to open this gradient map by clicking on the gradient map right here like this so as you can see these places that are dark are our shadows and this place that are white are our highlights obviously and the middle right here is our mittens so to, to so to do the skin correction i'm just going to click ok right now and i'll invert this my mask right here this is my gradient this is my layer mask right here i'm going to invert it by clicking on ctrl i or command i if you're using a mark to invert it and once i invert it you can see the original colors of the image is back so i'll just come back to my gradient map and open my gradient again and as you know this is my shadows black the black part of my shadows the middle the middle are my mittens and the highlights and the whites are my highlights don't worry about these two dots up here like this don't worry about it it doesn't have affect what you are going to do the only thing you should be uh, concerned about right now is this black spot right here and this white spot right here so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to select uh, the colors on the shadows to make all the shadows look even so i'll click on my shadows right here and i'll click on this shadow right here i know this place below and neck is a shadow so i want all my shadows to look like this place right here so i'll just click on this um place right here you can see the colors of my shadows have changed to this place which i clicked and you can see this mid uh, midpoint right here this is the mid tone so you just click on the mid tone right here so once you click on the middle you're going to add another point to your graded map and if this point is on the highlight you can move this point to the highlight side or you move it to the shadow side but i want it to be on the mid tone so make sure your location is set to 50 or you can just come here and set to 50 and that is the done that is the middle and this thing i'm going to do i'm going to double click on this middle right here and just use my color picker to pick on the mid tones on the image so right now i want my mid tones to look like here this place right here so i just click here and you can see the color of my mid tool has changed to this color right here so i'll click on ok now for the highlight i'll click on my highlight also and i'll click on colors and i'll pick my highlights i want my highlights to look like this highlight right here or this highlight on her nose right here so just pick any highlights you want but i want my highlight on, i want the highlight on the cheek to be on my highlight so just click on the highlight right here on the cheek and you can see or oh, i'll just pick the one on the nose okay no i pick the one on the cheek i like the one on the cheek so i just click on okay now that we have our color selected i'm just going to click on okay and we are done for that the next thing i'm going to do i'll come to this my layer mask which i created which i inverted and i'll just i'll turn my uh, brush to a white brush i'll switch it i'll switch my uh, my foreground colors to white right now because the mask is on black remember white reveals and black hides so i want to reveal the adjustment on the graded map which i just make so i'll just switch my foreground color to be on white and just paint over the image like this using my normal brush so with my normal brush my uh, opacity is 100 my flow is 100 i'll just brush over the image like this i know it's not looking good right now i don't know if you can see what i'm doing but make sure you don't brush the um you don't brush over the hair so just brush only on the skin anywhere you know that there's skin brush over it like that 
because we are just working on the skin don't brush on the lips or don't brush on the lips as well so just take your time and just brush so i don't want this video to be too long so basically what i'm going to be doing now i'm just going to brush over the skin of my image and once i'm done i'll get back to you guys and we'll move to the next step okay we are almost done and remember don't brush on the shirt as well if you if let's say you brush on the shirt you can just you can um, switch to um black or use your x to switch between black and white to just erase it from that area or you can use your eraser tool to just pick your eraser tool and erase it from that place like that okay i think we are good now let's see what we've done so far this is how it was before and uh, this is the after yes i know it's not looking so good but we are going to fix that so next thing i'm going to do right now i'm just going to feather it so i'll open my um gradient map i just click on my layer mask again and I click on feather so i just feather it with about let's say 10 or 11 so i feather it like this after i feather it i'll come to my filter i'll come to my blur i'll click i'll click on motion blur i'm just going to blur my effects with a radius of about three and i'll click ok and now the next thing you get to do which is the final step you can either reduce your opacity you can see the image the skin tone are looking more even right now you can tell you can see the before and the after the before and the after they are looking even let me just zoom in so you can see this is the before and this is the after you can also reduce the opacity even more if you want or you can increase the opacity and change the blend mode to color change the blend mode to color so once the blend mode is on color you can reduce the opacity a little bit if you want to let's say we reduce it to about 50% let me zoom in so you can see the effect this is the before you can see the skin tone and um, this is the after this is the before and this is the after you can also increase the opacity if you want so that's how you even out skin tone in photoshop so that's all for today's video and if you learn anything from this video make sure to give this video a like so that more people can see this video and learn from this video and let me know in the comment section what you learned from this video and if you are new here hit on that subscribe button so you can get more amazing video like this in the future I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay creative.